Hey everyone, I just do a little bonus video here um, just for the the newbies that are into cage trapping or people who want to get into cage trapping. So when I make my sets, so this is aimed away from my truck. Truck's up in the background where I could check the gate um, and uh, it kind of hides the cage. But I like setting these washes for one thing, weather, rain, uh, rain will normally, if it's sand, it will go right through and there's not much you have to do to fix the cage if it, if it rained. Obviously you're in a wash um, and if it get a lot of rain, well, then it just goes right through your trap and hopefully not down the creek. Um, but another thing is in sand or, or at least dirt, I like to put, um, I'll scrape my foot which it doesn't have much tread on it, but foot across all this stuff to see if something's moving and if it goes by. But it also helps me um, collect information on how cats approach my sets, how they work them, what direction did they come and go, if the, uh, especially if there's a refusal. Um, this cat, you can see its tracks right there. Um, now I brushed in the back pretty good because I don't, that's the main part. A lot of my front of my cages are open because uh, they really still can't reach the scent and everything in the back of the cage. Um, it's hard to see in this gravel, but the cat didn't approach the back of the cage. It came from down the wash and came up along the side here and, it, and then turned right in. It didn't. It doesn't hesitate or um, go up the wash at all. Um, looks like it just turned in. There's nothing over here. The branch is kind of uh, blocking the way anyway. So tells me that it, it, everything worked perfectly how it's supposed to. It didn't jump up on the cage or mess with the gate or really try to dig at the back. Um, so it, when you're at your sets, if you can, because we're not allowed to use game cameras here in Arizona. They've been outlawed. So I can no longer look and watch cats work a set, how they react. And all that information goes in into my portfolio in my head of how I do sets and how I set them up and aim in the cage. And they're, they're just so much involved in that. But this will help, uh, like, a, like I call it, it's a poor man's game camera. You, you kind of see have that picture of how that cat approached it and went in and, and got caught or in some cases refusals where he just stopped in front or he worked it from behind and then you can see the tracks not even stop at the front of the gate but um, anyways food for thought